Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. Today, I want to show you that a problem that I encountered with our Ram truck and a Bigfoot camper. That's kind of a big one. Stick around. When we went to go buy our first Bigfoot truck camper, something happened that I didn't see coming, and that was the camper did not fit very well on our Ram Dually truck. The tie down points they just don't line up very well with the hips on the Ram Dually truck. Just makes for a really, it's just super tight when you try to put on the fast guns or whatever turnbuckles. Uh, in my case, fast guns I was using and just super close to the fender. So I did find a solution for that and I'll show you that. But uh, let me show you how close the fast guns are when you tighten it down to the fender on the Ram truck. I'll try not to make this too long here, but as you can see, the the, the hip of the truck and the side of the camper line up really well. However, on these Ram trucks, the hip for the dually goes out so far that it's almost all the way to the front of the bed before it gets back to the normal width. So it, it swoops out really far. See if I can get, a, get that on camera a little bit better. So the tie down point above the hip of the truck is right here, which is, it still sticks out really far right there. Now the back is a little bit better. Actually, I have the back one hooked up, the fast gun, to uh, just the regular frame mount there. And on this one, right now I have, I got you know, about an inch uh, between that. I could space it back to the other one, but it doesn't really seem to make too much of a difference up at the top. Now the front one is where the problem is. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my fast gun and show you how close it is to the fender of the truck. It's a little tricky to get on just because the fender of the truck is so far out that it sticks out. Hook it down here on the bottom. It's so close that I wanna hold it with my hand just not to push on the fender. As it locks, it pulls away from the fender a little bit, but right now it's actually touching the fender. So it's a little bit too close, but, and the camper is on pretty close to center, but not exactly, uh, but it is real close. But if I am to get it on pretty much exactly center, I can get it so that there's about a quarter inch gap behind each uh, turnbuckle on each side of the camper. So, um, and that's just a little bit too close for, for comfort uh, for me. The problem is this tie down up here is too far back. It needs to be further forward. If it was further forward, it would clear more of the, the hip of this uh, fender here and there wouldn't be any problem. On our Lance and our Northern Lights, the tie down were further forward and didn't have any problem at all. And, but uh, with this Bigfoot, that's the big problem, is these tie downs are a little bit too close in. They need to be further apart and then they would, it would line up with everything. So now you can see why it's been such a challenge to get our Bigfoot truck camper on our dually ram it just doesn't line up very well tie down points are not good uh, with the big hips that are on this uh, on this ram um, i think it would probably fit better on a ford just based on the the hips of the ford dually they don't stick out as far as they do on the ram but uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at the uh, solution that i came up with to make it fit on the ram a little bit better here's what i got it's from Torque Lift. It's called a truck camper relocation bracket. And what it does is it extends the anchor points of the, for the truck camper further forward and backwards. Now, this did not exactly work as planned when I bought it. I did have to modify it. As you can see here, uh, these, this area here is supposed to be together. <laughs> but I needed it to be wider. It wasn't, it wasn't as easy as just buying it and bolting it on. I had to add this uh, plate of steel here 
and drill some holes in that and extend the, the bar further apart and I put the old bracket on the, the original one on the back and then added this one to the front or whichever side you want to call it really you can flip them around either way so I had to extend that out and then it bolts on I had to drill some extra holes in order for it to fit and uh, it comes with the whole two holes in the back and then it, there are no holes in the front so you have to actually drill whatever holes you need for that and uh, these little divots here are because of the that's actually for a screw head to fit in there's basically just one hole that goes through on that side so they really help quite a bit and uh, I'm gonna get that bolted up and let's take a look at the difference on how well it helps to strap down the, the camper. All right, I got the truck camper relocation kit mounted up. Just real easy, two bolts, one on each end at the camper tie down points. So let's go take a closer look and see how much it helps. Here's the back end. You can see it just bolts on. It does have this, that loop to hook up to, which is really nice. I do like that. It's got the loop on each end and it is really close to the fender. Now I can get my hand under there. There's, I can get basically a, a finger's width underneath there. So it's close. If I turn this around, which I have had so that the, that the L shape of the bracket faces in, it's even closer. So right now I have it so that it's the furthest apart. And then it has a tie down point here, which is a little bit forward of the factory tie down but it extends all the way out here, which is the best point for me with this truck camper to tie it up to this and down to the frame mount. Okay, so let's go ahead and hook up the back one first and see how much of a difference that makes. Not a big difference back here, really, to be honest with you. It does make a difference because I like the way that the hoop faces, which makes the, the fast gun face backwards. And uh, let's go ahead and hook it up here and lock it down. So it does make it really easy to, to get to. It does actually make, gives me probably about an extra inch worth of clearance in the back. So right now I have probably a good two inches in the back. So that's fine with me. So let's go check out the front. I'm back up at the front of the truck bed. So let's go ahead and hook up the front fast gun where the real problem was to begin with. I'm not gonna hook it up to this tie down point. I'm gonna hook it up to the one on the end and uh, cause that pushes it forward the most obviously. So let's strap that up and plenty of room, it's easy. I don't have to worry about scratching the truck bed, putting a dent on it. I can get my whole hand behind there. There's a good two, two and a half inches worth of space. So that's gonna work out really good on this truck camper relocation bracket. One more thing I wanted to point out is, let's just check out how far forward it actually pushes it. At least for my truck camper, it pushes it basically 10 and a half inches from the bolt to the front of the, of the bracket. So 10 and a half inches, that's quite a bit to be able to move your tie down point, anchor point for the camper. So now that you've seen what I have to go through in order to comfortably put our Bigfoot truck camper on our Ram Dually truck, I'm not real thrilled with having to do that. I'm thankful for the product that it actually works. Now, this is not a paid endorsement by any means. We paid full price for that bracket. Uh, I think it was like $375 uh, or so from e-trailer. I'll put a link to that below if you're interested, if you really need it. I really felt that I needed it. I did, after I got it, I was like, well, you know, I probably could have just made this myself uh, with some angle iron. And you know, it may not have been quite as nice as this, but um, I did have to modify this one, so, you know, kind of frustrating, but so if you have a Bigfoot truck camper and you have a Ram truck or you're looking to buy one or the other, uh, can just consider uh, what it may take in order to put the Bigfoot camper on the Ram truck. It's not so easy, but this bracket does work, so it, it is an option, but we'll take a little bit more modification most likely because uh, mine did, maybe some of the smaller campers wouldn't, I don't know. I'm not really sure about that. All I know is that the 10.4 model uh, 
well, I had to extend the bracket out. So uh, hopefully this video will help you. Uh, you know, if you're if you're looking at buying a Bigfoot truck camper and you already have a Ford F-350, a 450, most likely it's probably going to fit better on that Ford than it does on our Ram, just because the the fender is not as as wide as the one on, on the Ram here. So I I, I haven't tried that. Uh, to be 100% sure, but I have measured it out and it looks like it'd fit much better and, and I've seen plenty of them on Ford trucks that look like they have no problem at all. Haven't really seen as many of the Bigfoot truck campers on Ram trucks. Um, maybe that's a reason for it. Uh, it just doesn't fit very well or I just don't want my turnbuckles to be rubbing and scratching and denting my fenders. Uh, some people may not care. Uh, but I personally do so I had to come up with some sort of solution So if you're in this situation, hopefully that'll help but uh, Appreciate you watching. Please hit the like button subscribe share all that good stuff and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye